Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video, as usual, guys. Um, this time, it's on another Dollar Tree haul. And um, let's just jump right into it, guys. The first thing I up oh, right here is I got some more uh, body powder, medicated, triple relief formula. And uh, what I use this for is, like, a lot of times, uh, this time of year, I do a lot of cutting grass and do a lot of sweat and I try to just use this to help keep me dry some release um try to keep a whole lot of dust and stuff from getting on my skin because I do a lot of uh, going to woods and do a lot of different stuff just uh messing around work on cars and stuff like that so uh that's another good thing why I wear this stuff kind of repel it stuff off your skin and keep it nice and dry and cool Alright, so uh, when you go to your Dollar Tree, just pick up some of this good old body powder. Alright, okay, let's move on to the next. Is I got uh, some Colgate Triple Action while I was in there today. Um, this is pretty good. I ain't never had it before. It looked like it's pretty good. Triple Action Formula, Colgate, and uh, it's one, two, three steps in the one. What it's saying? It uh, this protection against something and it's whatever and whatever. You know, triple action. Uh, go to your air. Forty-two percent free. Go to your everything dollar store. And pick you up some of this Colgate triple action. All right. I told y'all I'll get my hands on some more Colgate. <laughs> Just kidding around, guys. All right. Let's move on to the next. Is um, I noticed that they're getting a lot of these in there, in there guys. Uh, they're getting a lot of hamburger helper. This is a hamburger helper cheeseburger macaroni. Uh, they're getting a lot of this. They got the um, Skarmanoff, which I got that. They got the chicken. They got the sweet and sour chicken. They got, yeah, sweet and sour chicken with the rice. They got some kind of uh, Alfredo noodle hamburger helper. And uh, it was one beef pasta, beef pasta. No, it was one more it's beef pasta. So, guys, y'all want to save money? Those of you who love hamburger helper, like I do, something quick to cook. <clears throat> Excuse me, something quick to cook and good, easy to put together, guys. Highly recommend you go to your Dollar Tree, pick up these hamburger helper because these normally cost anywhere from one fifty to two dollars. You know, so uh, you saving basically almost a dollar here. By getting them from the Dollar Tree. Alright. This is a hamburger helper cheeseburger macaroni. Good stuff guys. I highly recommend you pick them up. Alright. Let's move on to the next. Is. It's another one. This is a hamburger helper scrumming off. This is one of my favorites right here. Um, it's got a creamy like creamy white cheese. Or creamy gravy or whatever. But I know it's good like I said. Highly recommend you get to your Dollar Tree. Pick this stuff up, guys, because uh, unless this hamburger helper will be on sale at places like Food Line or Walmart, you're going to pay anywhere from $1.50 to $2, you know what I'm saying? And most places are going to be $2 a box. Anywhere from $1.65, rather, to $2. But uh, unless it's on sale, so you know why it's at your Dollar Tree, I highly recommend you get there, pick it up, guys, because... This stuff is amazing. Like I said, I like it because it's quick to cook. And uh, it's already hot. And you just want something to throw together real quick. And I'll uh, just grab some garlic bread to go with it. And um, you're good to go. And matter of fact, next thing I did get, that's what I buy to go with. My hamburger helper right here is the Texas Toast garlic bread. And in my opinion, these, all the hamburger helpers go with this right here. This is what I eat mine with when I cook it, and uh, I won't eat hamburger helper without this bread, you know, so, uh, it just, the dish just ain't right, in my opinion, if you ain't got no garlic bread to go with your hamburger helper, you might well not even cook it, you know, that's just my opinion, you know, because I'm a garlic bread toast lover, alright, so I can't never go on the Dollar Tree and buy this without buying this, <laughs> in my opinion, they just go together, you got to get those two. Alright, highly recommend get to your Dollar Tree, pick them two items up, especially, 
right. Let's move on to the next, guys. I highly recommend it now. Get on, get on some of that cheap old hamburger helper. Because you know the hamburger helper ain't never a dollar. All right. Next thing I got in there today, guys, I got some of these uh, bars, Polish sausage. And these right here is bun length. So uh, I guess those will be something similar to like uh, something you want to put on a hot dog bun. And you only get four in this pack, only the best brand bars is this is smoked bun length polar sausage made with chicken and pork. All right, so uh, pretty good. I know you can make you, I guess you can make your sausage dog out of this. Put your little chilies, onion, mustard, whatever you want on it. And uh, yeah, let's make a sausage dog. I just tried this, my first time trying this, guys. Uh, but um. Uh, it look like it's gonna be really good, so uh, highly recommend it. Get to your Dollar Tree and uh, pick this up, guys. Once again, made by Bars. This is Polish Sasha Bun Length Smoked. All right, let's move on to the next, guys. Uh, I got some. Uh, they got my brands back in them. They got my favorite kind of pizza right here. The Tony's Combination. The other day I showed you guys the pepperoni. Uh, I had to go with the pepperoni because that was all they had, you know, at the time. So um, this time they got my uh, combination back. So I grabbed about five of these today. And uh, I just like to keep these in my fridge at all times because I throw them in for like a just a long day working. And if I want that really heavy to eat because... Um, I don't really like to eat heavy, and I don't eat breakfast at all, really. I eat, like, late in the day, and sometimes I just want to eat on the light side, and I just throw one of these in the oven and, uh, you know, kind of go with the flow like that, guys. But once again, it's one of my favorites. This is Tony's Combination Pizza. Highly recommend you get to your Dollar Tree. Pick this up because these pizzas are really delicious, guys. That you wait. <laughs> You won't go wrong with these pizzas. Trust me, they are delicious. All right. Highly recommend, guys. Let's move on to the next. All right. Next one up is picked up some more of these uh, potatoes right here, guys. I love these. Y'all know I love these. Uh, I've been made a separate video about these. I bought five more packs today. I love them. They good. And my opinion, they go with just about anything, you know. They'll go with cheeseburgers. They'll go with fish sandwiches. Um, they'll go with, basically, like I said, basically anything you can put cheese on them. Um, they'll go with chicken wings, uh, whatever, you know. Uh, they basically, they resemble, they taste a lot like tater wedges. If I could put that, guys, if those of you like tater wedges, they taste a lot like tater wedges with a little more spiciness and kick to them. With the rosemary and the garlic, these are really good. I highly recommend you try these. And uh, what I do, I put mine in the oven for like um, 15 minutes. Kind of, you know, cook them in a little bit or whatever. And go on for now, you know. And when I take them out, <laughs> it's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. All right. These taters are amazing, guys. I highly recommend you get to your Dollar Tree. Pick these guys up because they are very good. All right. So let's move on to the next. Okay. And go get these taters now. These roasted potatoes with garlic. All right. And the next thing I grabbed was I grabbed this right here, guys. I grabbed some more of these goldfish because I know eventually I won't be able to see them. Won't see them no more because. It'd be a while before they get these back in there. So I highly recommend if y'all see these goldfish, you about to scoop them up while you can. <laughs> because after this, once they run out, I'm quite sure that you won't see these around in the Dollar Tree no more. That, that's just what I think. And um, they got the little teeny boxes in there. But um, in my opinion, they ain't really worth a dollar. You know, the teeny boxes like that, ain't really nothing in them. But these right here, these big nice size boxes right here, now they worth a dollar. So guys, I highly recommend you get in there and get these for those of you who love goldfish like I do. 
They're one of my favorite snacks to eat. Been eating them for about 15 years. I've been eating them ever since I was about 15 years ago. I was about, sure, about, I think I was like 19, 20. See, and now I'm 35. So that tell you how long that I've been eating these goldfish. All right? So I highly recommend it, guys. Get in your Dollar Tree. Scoop up these goldfish. Because these things are really good, guys. And um, like I said, these ain't going to be around long. So you better get in there and get them now. Alright. Let's move on to the next, guys. And um, next thing I got, I scooped up some, some buns. Got some of these good old fresh buns right here. Guys, tell me what you think about this. Hot dog buns. I got these for a dollar. It's a dollar tree today. And uh, I grab these buns. Basically, I grab these buns to try with the um, those bun lymph sausage. I should have got two of those so I could eat all eight of them. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I get back to the Dollar Tree. I pick up another pack of those um, Polish sausage bun length ones so I can eat all these buns up. Right now, I those hot dogs in just kind of. To finish it off, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, as it is what it is, got some dollar bonds. Guy, head to your Dollar Tree and pick a bit. All right, let's move on to the next. Is and while I was in there, I picked up some of this Arm and Hammer Fresh Sensation inspired by natural carpet odor eliminator. And uh, this is the first time I really seen this in there. I'm pretty sure it's been in there, but you know, I I had never spotted it in there before, so I scooped this up in there today. It said long last long lasting freshness. And you know, Armor Hammer makes pretty good stuff. And uh it just kill odor, sprinkle it on your carpet and just backing it back up, guys. I think that's what it's saying. Yeah, you every time you backing. Alright. Smells good. Smell it through the box. Make the whole house smell good. I'm fresh. <laughs> Highly recommend it, guys. You those who like good smell of house like I do. Sprang around on that carpet and back in the back good. Alright. Yeah, let's move on to the next, guys. Alright. Yeah, I'll grab this while I was in there. I couldn't get my awesome clean, guys. They are sold out of that today. But I had to get there to replace it. Maybe it'll do the job. Comment below, guys, if y'all had this before. Let me know what y'all think about this all-purpose cleaner. Cuts through grease and grime. The home store. Uh, I'm trying this because, like I said, I couldn't get my awesome clean. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, I don't know. But I want to get my, I wanted my awesome clean. But, uh, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm going to try this stuff here, though. See how it works. You know, I ain't never used this before. And uh, maybe you guys used it. Like I said, y'all comment below. Let me know what it's all purpose cleaner like. And if it's good, just say it's good or whatever. Now, um, until I try it out, guys. Alright, let's move on to the next. It is here is um I got some tile plus mow and mildew stain remover, deep penetrating. And basically what I was gonna do with this. I was going to take this and finish washing. I don't wash my house down with it. Remove the uh, tree sap and stuff like that. So if I figure if it remove mold and stuff like that, it'll remove tree sap off my house. God, my house is kind of near a pecan tree. And you know how them leaves give off a little sap on your house and kind of get a little dirty? I'm going to take this stuff here and clean my house up pretty good. Y'all, I'll probably make a video doing it again, guys. Because I had to clean my house about two, three times a year, you know, so I like to keep things looking pretty good. All right, so when I've cleaned my house, I'm going to do a video showing y'all how I wash my house down. Sometimes I use a pressure washer. Sometimes I just use my hands, you know, so uh, just be doing something, really, you know. All right, so let's move on to the next, guys. I got here. Next thing I got. Got a big thing of Clorox guy. Can't get enough of this. 
can wash the house down with Clorox. So I don't like to deal with too much Clorox because uh, that Clorox get back in your eyes. You wish you use. I guess you just wear safety glass or whatever. I guess it'll do about the same thing. I know the real Clorox is really strong anyway. It's not, uh, you know, it's stronger than this because this is more diluted. But uh, this probably would do the trick on washing my house down. I'm not sure. I never used it before. But uh, this comes from the dollar store. Got it from everything dollar store today for a dollar. So, uh, guys, um, now the next few items I'm about to bring up, uh, I got these from Roses. And uh, not to mention, it's got a few Roses items up in here. So, I'm just jumping right into that. All right. Let's move on to the next. Is I picked up this while I was at Roses. It's called Smoking Hot. This is if you like a money code, you'll love about smoking hot. And guys, this this uh, body spray is amazing. This is about the best that I smelt. Uh, if I know to smell this good right here, I would have been bought it hands down. I think this is about Bell Cam's best. I got a lot of compliments off this today, guys. I only I just sprayed it in the store. I sprayed it on my arm and my hand and I got a whole lot of compliments right there on the spot. You know, when I went to the restaurant, I got like, mm, what's that you wearing? You know what I'm saying? So uh, I highly recommend that, guys. Armani Code. If you like Armani Code, you'll love smoking hot. All right. Let's move on to the next, guys. Uh, no roses item I got. I got the wrong thing, though. It's um, this right here, a cheap sheet set thing. I was looking for a fitted sheet. And uh, I don't know what this crap be. I'm going to send it back to the store, though. Uh, this here is uh, uh, just a sheet and something I didn't need. So um, I'm going to be glad to get this back, guys. And this items come from Roses. And it costs $7.50. All right. Let's move on to the next. Is I think, guys. Let's see here. I think I hope this uh, about wraps it up. No, I got a couple more items I want to kind of mention. This is another Roses item right here. Got some dishwashing liquid while I was in there, guys. Roses. So I just want to just mention a few items that I got from Roses, too. Also, that's pretty good stuff. And I'll just enjoy dishwashing liquid. All right, let's move on to the next guy. So another item that I got right here, which was uh, something similar to Creed. This comes from Roses, guys. The stuff smells amazing. So uh, if you like Creed Original Santel, see the baller right here. If you like Creed, the version of Creed Santel, this right here is called Cool for Men. It smells pretty good. It smells like Creed, but it, and it smells like uh, let's get the sprayer. Pretty good sprayer, guys. And uh, another thing, it smells kind of like a uh, jupe. Those you like jupe. Smells similar to Juke Holmes, the original Juke with the red ball of the red juice. Smells like that also, in my opinion. I'll come back and do a separate take on this, guys, what I think about it. You know, I'm about saving a buck or two. I don't spend a whole lot of money in a whole lot of different colognes like that. So, uh, just, just, just where it is. All right. Now, another mention I got to do a review on is Polo. Just like Polo right here. Do I bring y'all that cheaper stuff? Right there, I'll come back and do a separate review on this, guys, like I did on the other two I had like this. Just be on the lookout for that. And that's about it, guys, for this haul. And I hope y'all enjoy. I hope it ain't been too long. And I try to bring y'all some pretty good stuff. Like I said, get get out to Roses or your Dollar Tree or whatever. Shop around and uh, try to get some pretty good fans, guys. Try to get some deals and stuff on some stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right. So don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I want to thank all my viewers, all my subscribers for watching my videos. And any negative comments, just keep them to yourself. Because once I read them, you will be blocked. Alright? So don't end up save it for yourself. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out, YouTube. One.